G'day, g'day. My name is Belle, and as I said in my last video, um, today I'm going to show you um, my first couple of budgets, which were a bit of a mess. My cash envelope folder. Oh, I might even show you my 100 envelope challenge as well, and my new budget book that I have not even started yet, but I'm excited to start. Okay, so when I first started this budgeting thing, I was super unsure <laughs> what to do. Um, so I made a huge mess, <laughs> but figured it out quickly. So, and look, a lot of people don't tell you exactly what they money they have coming in. Um, I think that I am probably going to tell you because it's important that you realize how bad my small week is <laughs> and I still manage to um, to do decently. But you can definitely tell my big week by the amount of entries <laughs> there are, the amount of things that I can um, put away for as opposed to my small week. <laughs> A small week. So my first couple of budgets are at the back here. Now I got these from um, the Budget Mum. So this is our subscriptions. Um, it's probably a bit hard to uh, see but <laughs> it's really messy. Um, but these are my subscriptions. They um, We cancelled some of them that we didn't use that much um, and the rest I make sure that I put money away for um, every uh, fortnight. Um, I do that on my big week. I really can't do it on my small week. Um, so yeah, and like some of the most expensive one there is Dungeon in a Box, which is a subscription for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Um, campaigns so yes I don't want to cancel that one um, that's one of my favorites we're all huge gamers um, so that's one of my favorites um, this was my figuring out how much of each note I needed um, it was <laughs> messy <laughs> but we got there in the end <laughs> and then um, after I just figured it out my son, who wanted me to take out money for him, completely changed everything that he wanted and I was not happy. <laughs> but we got there in the end. This is another one of my working papers. It's just what I used to figure out exactly what I wanted to put where. And yeah, that's, that's it. And then, um, yeah, I had some money left over on one of my weeks um, that I decided to separate out here and that's that's that. So this is my folder where I keep all my old budgets and it's got my blank budgets that I got from the Budget Mum. These envelopes I got from the Budget Mum as well. Oh, I haven't put them away yet. I also keep my empty cash envelope folder ones in here as well. Um, I don't really like having them in here, but I don't know where else I'm going to put them. I'll figure something out and then I'll probably show you. Um, so, yeah, so these were my budgets that I actually went off and they worked really, really well. So pretty happy with that, but I'll go through them more in depth. I think, oh, I'm going to, I haven't done my budget for next week yet. So I'll probably do that in the next um, day or two. It's the weekend, so I'll um, do it in the next day or two and then I'll share that. So, oh, my new budget book, I'll show you that first. So I got this from Amazon. Um, I cannot remember how much it was. It does not even say who it's by. It's, it's pretty though, isn't it pretty? So, um, yeah, this is the weekly one there are not many weekly ones they're all fortnightly and monthly um, but this one I super liked and it's specifically for sinking fund and cash envelopes so it's exactly what I was after so then I, I colored it in it comes um, blank and I colored it in because how could I not it was too pretty and I had to <laughs> so I colored it in um, it's got some instructions if you need them. Um, it's pretty decent. Yeah, this is this is it. 
um, I've coloured in a little bit. I'm going to colour that one in, but I really want to do different colours, but then my OCD might make me do the same ones. We'll see what happens. Um, so this is the monthly overview, um, which is basically your monthly income, monthly bills, monthly cash envelopes, monthly savings, monthly sinking funds, and then your totals of all. I don't know if I'm going to use that so much. Um, then there, this is what I really wanted. So this is the weekly planner. So again, I'll try and... I'm not sure if you'll be able to read it, but this is the weekly planner and it is um, exactly what I need. So I've got my space for my income here. I can put my bills down here. So my bills are the ones that are going to come out of the bank. Um, there's very few that do. My rent does. Um, I'm trying to really limit the things that come out of the bank um, just because it's easier for me to keep track of everything if I've got cash. Um, cash envelopes, so that's what's going to go in my cash envelope binder. My sinking funds are going to be um, my savings and my eldest son, Brandon, he wants me putting money away for him. Um, his partner, Quinn, wants money be being put away for them. And we have a um, one of Brandon's friends that is staying with us Um he wants me to put money away for him as well so I've got a bunch of people's <laughs> savings um, but I'm happy if I can help them then I'm happy um, and then uh, the savings amounts are going to be here now the savings I'm I'm probably going to put just my savings there and the sinking funds I'll have the kids savings there um, and then this is the um, tracker for the cash stuffing, so you can put what it's for and, um, you know, the denominations you need. I'm not quite sure why there's a thousand dollar denomination. I suppose if you're putting a, um, a place saver in, that might be why, but yeah, and this is it. And it's weekly, as I said, which I really like. It's super pretty. I'm going to keep um, colouring in. Um, there's a expense tracker that you can track your expenses if you want to. A debt repayment tracker, which um, same you can track that if you want to. And every every month, there's another little affirmation sort of thing with the wreath, which I will be colouring in at the time so yeah this is cute little I haven't actually looked at the back pages oh that's just the same same but just cute little way to keep it all together and I don't have to have folders and I don't have to have all that sort of jazz hanging around okay so that's that one now my cash envelopes so this is the um, cash envelope folder that I got from Amazon um, it is super duper cute I am right into um, space I have a tattoo of Jupiter on my leg I, I love it um, so this one is the one that I got it's really cute there's so many types this is an A6 I also have a small A7 one that I'm going to set up for in my handbag, but I haven't got that sorted yet. So this is, I'm filming this on Friday. Uh, my payday is Monday. So this end of the week, <laughs> everything's been paid for pretty much. Um, so you'll see my groceries is completely empty. Um, so I fill that up. Um, on payday and then generally Monday night or Tuesday night my um, sons and I or two of my one or two of my sons my third son is agoraphobic so he doesn't really leave the house but the other sons um, we go to the groceries on the Monday or the Tuesday and generally spend pretty much all of it I went over budget just slightly this week but I have um, plenty of money in my buffer, which I'll show you in a second, so I could cover that. 
Um, this is what the deposit is what I'm going to put in the bank if I have anything to put in the bank at the time. Um, I've already done that this week, um, so I didn't have to worry about it um, next week. So, yeah, I've done that this week. Savings. So this is my savings for small weeks. So I keep $100 in here. Um, and this is for from my big week for my small week. So this has really helped me. This is the biggest thing to come from this budget is having this money ready for small week, which is just amazing. Um, so this is the budget sheet. If you know nothing about these budgets, um, we'll go through the budget sheet um, a bit later. But this is basically my car envelope. Um, I've only just started at my rego. I paid on Wednesday of this week. Wednesday? Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. So this one's completely empty. Now, I only started this... Um, budget system the last few weeks so this red joe i actually had to borrow money off mum um, but hopefully it's the last time that i have to do that um because i'm going to be saving up for next year's red joe in here i think i did six months red joe actually next six months red joe in here and i'll be able to do it on my own so this is for our phone bill now our phone bill bill could be left in the bank i suppose but for me it's much too easy for me to spend it. So I take it out and then I'll pay it at the post office. Um, so our phone bill is $200 a month. So next big week, so um, next week is small week. The week after that, I'll put another $100 in there and I'll have our phone bill paid for. This is our electricity account. I owe them oodles of money. Um, but... I, Sydney has one of like the highest electricity um, in in the world. Like it's ridiculous how expensive it is. So, but yes, I'm really struggling to pay the electricity bill. But I paid ninety dollars on it just this week because I had saved it here over the last two weeks. Um, so that is super exciting, <laughs> um, and I'm just going to keep doing that. I have radio rentals. It's um, a terrible idea. <laughs> One out of five, do not recommend. But when you have no money, it's hard when you need a house full of things. But I'm nearly out of my radio rentals. I um, My last radio rentals is in November. It finishes. So it's super close to being done. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see or not, but let me bring it up a bit a bit. So you can see that I put 40 in on the 20th, then the next week I put another 20 in and I had 60, then I banked 50 and paid it immediately, camera's not, there we go, uh, banked 50 and paid it onto my radio rentals immediately and I've still got $10 in there, which when you flip over, there's my $10 in there. Um, Dodo is our internet carrier, so that one's got 25 in there, so that bill is not due for another couple of weeks, um, and it's only $85 a month, so I've already got more than um, half of that saved up, which is good. Um, so, yes, I've already put some more into, oh yeah, the other car one was for car maintenance, sorry. This one's car rego, so I've already started up to save for my next um, car rego. So, um, yeah, I've already got money in there for that. Not much, but doesn't matter. Ah, this is my buffer. Okay, so because this is a new thing, so let me just show you. So because I haven't had... The budget very long I thought let's start a buffer with whatever I could left over to try and um, mitigate a bit of the if I have to overspend here while I figure out the budget and that sort of thing so so because I wasn't sure you know what I'd 
under budgeted for, what I might have over budgeted for, um, I started a buffer. So I'll show you this one. So you can see that I started it with literally whatever I had left lying around, um, which was $63. Having a bit of trouble focusing, but you know, only starting out and camera's not great. Then I realised that I had under budgeted groceries, so I had budgeted $200 for groceries, uh, but I needed more. <laughs> So I took 50 out for that. Um, then I had some left over, so I added it back in. Then I ended up with 38. And then um, I put some more as the week went on and I realised that I had a little bit sitting here and there. I put some more in. So my buffer now is $100. So next week on Small Week, um, if I need to... Um, dip into my buffer, I can dip into my buffer. I've got it there and I know that if I need it, I can get it and I don't have to worry. I'm not stressed at all about small week because I've planned for it, which for me, completely amazing. I'll tell you that now, completely amazing. So that's my buffer and that is literally just just in case money so I'm gonna try not to touch it it's not gonna go so normally with this system at the end of the week if you have extra money that you haven't spent or whatever you move it over to savings or whatever another envelope this will not do that this will always be in there unless I take money from it um, for because I was short it's just emergency basically uh, and then I've got some blank budget sheets and tags blank labels which I haven't got everything there yet we do have a cat um, I don't have a pet envelope as yet um, her food is included in our groceries she doesn't eat a lot um, so we get a bag a week and that's more than enough generally um, so yeah that is this folder which is super cute and available on Amazon and honestly I cannot remember what shop on Amazon I cannot remember where it's from um, if I find the link I'll put it down below but I really cannot remember okay so the next thing we're going to look at is our savings envelopes so um, I have um, one that has receipts in it, which I'm really hopeless at remembering. <laughs> so my my eldest son's partner's name is Quinn. Um, they've been together since high school. They're both 21 now, so they've been together quite some time. Now, what Quinn has asked me to put away for them is if I can get it out of the envelope. So these envelopes I got from the Budget Mum. They were free um, downloads that you can print or you can order them from, from her and they're brilliant. I love them. They've got your um, sheet on the back. They're brilliant. I really like them and I enjoyed putting them together. <laughs> um, so Quinn Savings um, we have got in there for Quinn Savings five dollar dues. That's what we've got there. That's all we've got there. We've only just started it for them. Um, so on the front, on the back of the envelope, it's got the date that I put it in. Five dollars. Five dollars. Easy. This one, she's, um, sorry, they're saving for some more piercings. Um, so this one is her piercings envelope. Um, it's $150 that I've got saved for them. And I've told them that um, if it's for their piercings, then they can let me know whenever they want it. But the savings envelope, I'm not giving to them until there's like a thousand dollars in there. 
<laughs> so this one, if you put it in there, it's not coming out. <laughs> so that is Quinn's envelope. And they are very, very pleased with that. So that one. And that's definite savings because they don't live with us. So they can't just grab it or anything. So this is Jeremy's. Now, these envelopes you can use to save for specific goals if you like. Um, Jeremy, I don't think he's... Um, doing that I don't think he's saving for anything specific um, but he's um, so he's the Jeremy lives with us um, he's been living with us for oh, quite a while now um, he's just started working in the last few months um, so yeah he, he lives with us so if you have a savings goal let's say you want to save $1,200 there are 12 of these lines. You would put $100 in each one, and every time you reach 100 in there, you colour in a line. So you can absolutely do that that way. I don't think that I'm going to do that because he doesn't really have a goal. Um, but he has asked me to put away $20 every week for him. So he gives me $20 extra in his board. I take it out in cash, and I pop it in there for him. And I have told him also that he cannot just get it. He have to wait until there is, you know, a thousand dollars in there, which I think is a good good thing for him because it will come in very handy. It help him save for a car or something like that. This one is oh Christmas 2023. Okay, so I have not even started. I am one of those people that realise that Christmas has come on Christmas Eve and spend all day Christmas Eve at the shops trying to catch up on stuff that I should have put and should have bought during the year. But out of sight, out of mind, I'm hopeless and don't think about Christmas until... I see Christmas treats. So this year I have decided that I'm going to start saving for Christmas. Now, however, I have not saved anything yet because I have not been able to. But the, the idea is there. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully I will be able to put money into that sinking fund fund um soon <laughs> and hopefully then i will actually think to go and spend it before christmas <laughs> and actually prepare before christmas this envelope has my boy's um birthday funds i think so it's just money that i'm putting away so that i can buy them a present do a party if we want it is cons 18th birthday this year Brandon just had his 21st birthday so we had a party well not really party we did a dinner for that uh, we went to his work he's an apprentice chef um, so we went to his work um, on one of his he took a day off and um, we had dinner there and the food was amazing we went to the bunker in Springwood which if you're in Western Sydney if you get a chance to go do it it is such good food it is a little bit expensive so budget for it first but you get big meals and it was honestly delicious um, so yeah, so there's not nothing in these at the moment. Brandon's we just spent, um, Cons and Heathies are um, not for another few months, but we will put money away for for those before then. I am certain. Um, so my youngest son is excellent with money. <laughs> He's, I don't know where he gets it from. Certainly not me, um, but. I owe him money. We bought a board game um, 
a Bloodborne board ga game off a friend of ours. It was the game plus um, three expansions. Um, it was $300, so I didn't have the cash at the time. Connell did because he still had Christmas money left, and that was only a couple of weeks ago that we did this. Um, so I promised him I would pay him back, so I've started putting my money away for that. Um, I'm also saving to get my passport. I still do not have a passport. I, I had one years ago when I was with the kid's dad. Um, but he, um, because he was from New Zealand, so since we separated, there's absolutely no need for me to go overseas. <laughs> and with the way that my finances have been up until now, there's no way that I could have afforded it anyway. So saving for our passports so that we can maybe go on a cruise is what I'm hoping after Connell's 18th. Um, I'd really like to take them on a cruise. Uh, however, my agoraphobic son might not be able to come. He's 19 though, so it's not like he can't stay here on his own, but I'd much rather he come with us. But um, we'll see what happens. So that is my system. Um, oh, and my 100 envelope challenge. I forgot about that. That's in the cupboard down here. Let me just grab it. Okay, so I got this on Etsy. Um, there are different ones you can get, but to be honest, you can absolutely do it with 100 blank envelopes that you get from Woolworths. But I saw this and I had the money at the time, so I thought... <laughs> Yoink, I want that. So, um, I'm actually really ahead in this. Um, not quite sure how that happened. I think I just had a, a little bit laying around and here and there left over. And I tried to sort of, um, if I had something left over, to use that. So, how this works is there are 100 envelopes in here. Okay, um, these ones are really, really cute. I've got them marbled. Um, they're really pretty. So um, there's a hundred of them in here. And then I have this little um, sheet that is reusable. It's laminated. Um, so this sheet shows all the envelopes. So they're numbered from one to a hundred. So for instance, if I, um, so you can either choose a number or you can see how much you've got left at the end of the week and use that. Um, or you can, as I do, use um, Google and ask it to randomly generate a number between 1 and 100. Um, and then whatever number it comes up with, you get that envelope and you fill one of the envelopes with that amount. So if it generates number 36, I'm going to take an envelope, I'm going to put $36 in it, um, and then I'm going to colour that envelope in on here. So um, the good thing is you can do sort of what you've got left over for the week. Um, I have been putting a bit extra, um, so I've only had this for two weeks um, but I've actually filled in 12 envelopes um, so on my big week I do between one and a hundred twice on Google um, and it I fill in two envelopes um, between one and a hundred so I've got like the 61 filled and and that on small week I don't have as much money so I do between one and 30 uh, twice on small week so um, the small week ones once I've filled up between 1 and 30 um, then I might have to miss some weeks so that's why I wanted to get a little bit ahead so if I do have to miss some weeks I can miss some weeks and it's not going to put me behind so at the end of the challenge I should have in here uh, about five thousand and fifty dollars that is the goal. Um, so far, it seems to be working. And look, I used to lose change. A lot of people only put notes in, but I had it. Um, I don't have as much loose change now um, since I started the um, the cash system, funnily enough. Um, 
but I'm generally putting it straight in here when I do get it because it's a really good way to get it out of my wallet. <laughs> So yeah, that is the 100 envelope challenge. As I said, it's reusable. I really like that, um, you know, I got a cute little one, but honestly, you, you really can just use envelopes at home. I don't know if you can see how I've colored it in there, but yeah, that's how that works. Um, you can always, there's also a version if you've got a bit more money than I've got. Um, there is a um, even numbers version. So you go, um, you have, it's exactly the same. You have 100 envelopes, but you start from two and you go up in twos to 200. Um, and when that is full, you will have just over $10,000 in here. Um, that is way too much for me. I, I don't think I could do that. But that is the... 100 envelope challenge um, hopefully I'll get some other savings challenges um, at some point so yeah that is it for this video I think um, please comment down below if there's anything um, specifically that you want to ask I'll try and address it um, also in my next video I'm going to actually do my next week budget which I think next week is small week. So yes, next week is small week. We had big week this week. Um, so I'm going to do my small week budget and you can see just how little I have to work with and somehow I still manage to do it. <laughs> Don't ask me how. Um, but yes, hopefully I will see you then. So see you later and take care. Bye.